the governor of Bungoma, His Excellency Kenneth Lusaka, kindly move with speed to make sure that you open more outlets within the regions and actually Bungoma, in all Bungoma uh, constituencies, we are all farmers of maize. And this is the time that farmers should actually be supplied with the fertilizer near where they are come from. Because the fares for them to travel all the way to Ebuye is high. And you all know that these days uh, the economy is not very good to our farmers. So I just want to urge the governor that please the government is doing what he's supposed to do but as the county government kindly open more outlets which is nearer to the farmers so that the farmers can access the fertilizer where they can afford and have easier transport. So far the supply of fertilizer that we have in our stores is safe and credible. And that is why we want to sound a warning to the company of uh, the Indian guy. Uh, the company is called what? Kelly Chemicals. Chemicals. Kelly Chemicals. Mm. And I'm giving it a warning to the government and particularly the cereals board that Kelly Chemicals fertilizer should not cross Rivanzoya to come to Bungoma. Because, because if it happens that it comes, I want to assure the government that we are going to set it ablaze. Because we don't want our farmers to ever have the fake fertilizer. Fertilizer should reach in every ward in Bungoma. Those far areas like Ndalu, Brikidia, Mount Elgon, where there are stores, we ask our Excellency, the Governor, and his team to ensure that fertilizer reaches in every ward. Even here in Webuye, there is no need for people in Bokoli to come down here. They should get their fertilizer because they have their, their farms there and the transport is very expensive. So we want every ward to receive its fertilizer and that can be coordinated by His Excellency uh, Governor Lusaka with his team, with his EBO team, to ensure that our farmers don't suffer. So far we thank the National Cereals Board for this uh, kind of gesture to bring fertilizer to our people. But then we are late. This fertilizer should have come by January or February. So that this time is just time for farmers to plant. We expect that uh, we should not have any further delay. Number two is that all types of fertilizer, including top tracing, should have been brought by now. So that a farmer does not go home uh, to plant and then come back for another type of fertilizer for to top tracing. So it is extremely important that we can do that. Call upon a uh, county government to create a clear linkage between what they are doing and what uh, the national government is doing. Because agriculture is devolved and it beats logic that somebody is coming from Lugari, somebody is coming from uh, Tongaren, somebody is just coming from a uh, far distance to come to Ebuye to buy fertilizer. We want to ask county governments, both Kakamega, uh, Bungoma, Transoya, to be deliberate in ensuring that they are opening other uh, distribution, uh, distribution centers across our respective counties. The economy is not doing well, as uh, everybody knows, so it's not right that people can spend fair to come and buy this sub subsidized fertilizer. As their representatives, we will continue working for them. We will continue lobbying to ensure that fertilizer is enough and is brought in good time. The security of any nation is dependent on how government invest in agriculture and we want to thank uh, his excellency the president with the efforts he is making in ensuring that he transforms agriculture and kenya is food secure and that's why we want to call upon uh, kebs dci to ensure that uh, kel chemicals the company that is supplying mafia punda that is supplying that uh, fertilizer fake that Muindi is arrested 
is prosecuted and the law takes its own course. Mm. And we also want to call upon DCI and CAPS mm. to ensure that this frequent testing of the fertilizer that is being distributed in our, in our depots and in our cereal boards. Because yesterday we have uh, identified uh, Kelly chemicals. Tomorrow it might be somebody else. So we want to see that this frequent testing and inspection of the fertilizer that is, is being distributed. And also, we must also continue working closely with these companies that we have pre-qualified to supply us with this fertilizer so that we ensure that fertilizer that is being supplied is quality and is credible and it's safe. Thirdly, we also want to call upon um, uh, government and CAPS and uh, National Serious Board that Western Kenya is the bedrock of maize production and the fertilizer that is being supplied must be deliberate and intentional to ensure that our people here get enough fertilizer. So that's why I want to thank our CEO because he has agreed to ensure and enhance the supply of fertilizer in this region.